There's a mistake that's pretty easy to make in React applications that involves using a redundant state as well as use effect hooks. And this mistake can kind of lead to less readable code, poor performance, and can just kind of open yourself up to bugs and errors. So in this mistake, if we look at the code here, what you're going to see is I have three pieces of state, first name, last name, and full name. And what we do is we have these two different inputs here to where when the user types in the first input, we set the first name to the event.target.value. And when they type in the second input, we set the last name to the event.target.value. And then we render out a full name below. Now, the way that we generate the full name is basically the issue here to where we use a use effect hook. And then anytime the first name or last name changes, we set the full name to be a template string of the first name and the last name. So if we go back to the app, you can see if I change this here, you can see that it works just fine. It updates the full name based on kind of what we type in here, but this is just not needed because a far easier approach here is going to be to remove this use effect altogether, remove it from our import. And then instead of having this piece of state here, all we need to do is we could just say const full name is equal to a template string where I can say first name and last name. And then if we come back, we're going to see that everything still works just as we would expect and everything looks fine here. And to me, this code is so much more clean just having this constant full name and deriving the full name from our state here rather than creating a whole nother piece of state compared to using our use effect hook and kind of indirectly setting our full name. And this also has a minor performance benefit because when the first name and last name are set, it's going to re-render this component and it's always going to keep this full name up to date. But if I command Z and we go back to what we had before, what you're going to see here is that, okay, First name and last name, when they change, it's going to trigger a re-render. But our full name isn't going to be updated yet. So then we trigger this use effect hook because first name and last name change. And then we set this new piece of state based on our first name and last name. So these trigger a re-render when they change. But then we trigger an extra re-render when this use effect hook runs and then we set the full name. So anytime these change here, we trigger another re-render to set the full name, which, you know, in this case, it's not going to really be a noticeable performance difference, but in our improved version, all we have going on here is that when our first name and last name change, we just drive our full name from our pieces of state here. But when we set this constant here, it's not like it's triggering a re-render. We're just deriving this during the render process itself. So we're not triggering extra re-renders here as we were in our use effect. This can lead to, in some cases, significantly improved performance. I think this is way cleaner, much more readable. And I generally like to not use use effect hooks when you don't have to. So the take home here is that whenever possible, really try to pay attention to if you're using state variables when you don't really need to or if you're using use effects when you don't need to, and can you just derive a constant or just a normal JavaScript variable to kind of track a certain value rather than creating a whole nother piece of state for it. So I hope this helps. And I hope this kind of covers this mistake. And if you have any questions about this, just let me know in the comments below.